When you're looking for a unified cloud gateway, you're greeted with these two options I have in front of me, the Unify Express and the Unify Cloud Gateway Ultra, but you don't know which one to choose. Well, in this video, I'm gonna help you make that decision. Hey everyone, my name's Monty and welcome to Inside Wire. First, let's open these up and take a physical look and the specifications. Both these boxes are very similarly packed and these are the two units right here. We have the Cloud Gateway Ultra and the Unify Express. So you can see there's a little bit in terms of physical size, but we'll come to that in a second. These are the two boxes that they come in. This is the slightly older packaging with the Unify Express and the Cloud Gateway Ultra. Inside you get yourself your power lead, so both USB-C and you get a small 30 centimeter ethernet cable. So taking a look on the front, we have an LCD screen on both of them. This one actually says Cloud Gateway Ultra on the front, but this one doesn't. And on the back, this is where most of the information is gonna be physically. So we have a one gigabit WAN port and a one gigabit LAN port. So this allows to plug into the rest of your network and that goes out to your internet. And this one actually comes with a two and a half gigabit WAN port. So this is one of your key differences initially. So one gig versus two and a half gig. So it depends on your internet speed and the rest of these are all one gig. So just keep that one in mind, even though you have a 2.5 gigabit WAN port on the back, you are limited to a one gigabit LAN connection. Now, one of these two devices has Wi-Fi 6 built into it and it's actually the smaller device that does. So this has a two by two MIMO inside, both 2.4 and five gigahertz and covers up to 140 square meters. It can connect up to 50 plus devices. And if you need to, you can adopt other devices on this to actually run within the Unify network application. This device right here doesn't have any Wi-Fi capabilities, but you have four LAN ports on the back. You have one gig routing with IPS and IDS enabled. There is a small asterisk on this, depending on your internet connection, is depending on what you get. And again, this has its own Unify network application built into it. So getting either of these units powered and connected is really simple to do. So you can either do it, plug it in, plug your WAN connection in and get your mobile phone out, download the Unify app. But I like to use the computer behind me because it's a little bit easier to explain. So what you need to do, go ahead, power the device up, plug your WAN connectivity in. This is just connected to my network at the moment, just to give you a rough idea. And then I'm gonna take a port from the LAN connection here and plug it into the back of my computer. So I will do that with the Cloud Gateway Ultra. And then once I've done explaining that one, we'll go ahead and do the same with the Unify Express. So we've got that plugged in, we're now at our computer and we just need to go in and press Unify. So if we go into a web browser, type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Unify, press enter, and you'll be greeted with this nice graphic display right here. Now this is the Cloud Gateway Ultra. I'm not gonna run through the whole setup on here. If you wanna see a video on setting up your Unify network, drop me a comment down below and I'll see if I can put that together for you. This is a comparison video between the two devices. I'll give you the quick first couple of steps to show you how that runs. So we just give it a name and you create a UI account. If you don't already have one, I do have one. So I'm gonna log in and get this all adopted and set up. And just to show you on this part, we're doing the Unify Express now. So the Cloud Key Gateway is all set up and running. And then I will show you them side by side and the settings of what that looks like. Both of these have now been updated and we're going to go ahead and take a look. So on the left hand side of your screen, you can probably see the Unify Express and you can see that labeled in the top left hand corner just here. And then on the right hand side, you have the Ultra Cloud Gateway, which is right there. Now, straight off the bat, you can see the settings within the OS console. You can see network on the Express, but you actually have inner space as an option on the Unify Cloud Gateway. And I don't know for those eagle eyed viewers if they've picked this up but also the Unify Cloud Gateway runs the latest OS, which is 4.0.6, whereas the Unify Express is only running 3.2.9. So it's missing out on some of those additional features. Now we're gonna jump into the network segment and we're gonna run through a couple of areas that are different between the two. I'm not gonna go through the ones that are exactly the same, just some of the ones where there are differentials. So you can make your choice between one or the other. So if we start with the Unify Express and we jump into the ports, you can see on the left hand side you have two Unify Express options, two Unify Express ports that are built in and that is the WAN port and then the LAN port. Both are gigabit speeds and you can see they are connected at a gigabit. On the other side for the Cloud Gateway Ultra you actually have a couple of options so you can set VLANs within the ports on here. If I try and do this on the other side for the Unify Express it doesn't allow me to do this. So you can see right here I'm clicking on the LAN port it doesn't let me set a native VLAN or any tagged VLANs like so. The other main area that is slightly different between the two now, obviously the Unify Express has Wi-Fi built into it, 
so it has the Wi-Fi network capability to be created. This one you can pre-configure, so when you finally get in an access point, you can go ahead and broadcast that Wi-Fi out. You can set up your VLANs as always. Now, the other difference is around the internet connection. You only have a single primary one on the Unify Express, but on the Unify Cloud Gateway Ultra, you can set two different ones. So you have two and a half gig of your WAN one and one gig WAN two, and you can use one of the four ports that are on the back additionally. And the final thing that is different between the two is the security around the Unify Gateway. So on the Express, if we jump into the General tab, you can see we don't have the option for the internal honeypot. For internet safety, this is where the IPS and IDS is set up. So we have country restrictions, which is fine. But actually within the cloud gateway, you can set up the filtering mode for IPS and IDS. And if you want to know a little bit more about that in detail, drop me a comment down below and we'll go through it in a little bit more detail in another video. We have the port forwarding options that you see on both so they're both exactly the same we don't see anything different there and uh, you can set up your traffic and firewall rules between your devices as well everything else in terms of the network is exactly the same between the two devices and the other thing i didn't cover is they are both running 8.2.93 at the time of this recording they have the latest network os on them the final thing i'm going to show you in terms of the screen right here is the performance so I've gone ahead and tested a speed test. It's not exactly the best performance testing, but it gives you a rough idea in terms of what throughput you can get out to the internet. So I have a gig down speed and 100 meg up. So you can have a quick look at some of the results that we have here. So these are both hardwired in. They are connected via ethernet to each of the devices. So we expect the Unify Express. It gives me the full 100, uh, one gig down and 102 meg up. So no issues there in terms of speed and throughput but remember there's no ips or ids enabled on this to slow down the throughput of your wan connection we then move on to the cloud gateway ultra where actually i've enabled everything and turned it to the highest settings that i possibly could so everything is enabled and i am still getting exactly the same speed so it does say that it can do gigabit per second throughput with ips and ids enabled and that is the case so in terms of performance of network speed there's no issue with that in terms of Ethernet. In terms of the Wi-Fi testing, so I have the Unify Express. I am in exactly the same room. My Mac Studio is literally just behind the camera and I have my Unify Express just on the table next to me. So they are probably literally about two meters apart from each other. I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network that I've created. So you can see I have one client on here at the moment, WPA2. We're using that and there's nothing i haven't done any configuration settings any optimizations of your wi-fi and i'm just going to run a blanket speed test to see what i get in terms of speed test then so i'm getting about 436 megabits per second download speed and it looks like i'm probably going to max out in terms of upload speed getting 100 megabits per second and there you go, there's the final speed right there. So we have 437 down and 104 up. So we covered the physical network connectivity performance. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Wi-Fi performance of the Unify Express because that is the only one that has Wi-Fi built in. So we have two rooms further down from this office which has two stud walls in the way and it's approximately about five meters away. So in here, you can see I was getting 341 megabits per second down and 103 up. And then if we look at the Wi-Fi signal, it was relatively good. So minus 69 dBm. So that was roughly what we were getting in terms of signal strength. Now sat in this office right here we got 368 megabits per second download speed and 104 megabits per second upload speed followed by a very good signal strength so that was minus 48 dbm and that actually shows within the app as excellent the signal strength was tested with the wi-fi man app to give us those individual results now let's quickly cover the pros and cons of both of these devices so let's start with the unify express it has Wi-Fi built into it, it's compact, it's light, it's easy to set up and configure and you have everything built into it. It's suitable for homes and small offices with very little, I would probably say actually moderate network demands. So, I mean, it's not something that's going to be if you need high availability out to the internet, this isn't going to be the one for you, there are other ones out there. But if you need something small in your office to cover everything you need and at home, if you live in an apartment where there's just 
a couple of bedrooms and a small area this could be the device for you now if we cover some of the cons of this unit it has limited LAN ports so it only has one LAN port on the back of it so you need to buy yourself an additional switch if you want to plug something in it has limited management capacity so it can only manage up to four unified devices within here so you can't actually adopt a great deal and that's due to the small nature of it and the low power within it and actually just holding these and I'll cover this in just a second it does feel a little bit warmer than the Cloud Gateway Ultra now now let's have a look at the pros and cons of the Cloud Gateway Ultra and some of the pros of this is it has the advanced routing capabilities so it has IDS and IPS with that you can actually make sure your network is a little bit more secure in terms of what's coming in and your protection it supports larger networks and clients so you can cover up to 300 devices within this it has multiple WAN capabilities so if you need that high availability network you can actually convert one of the LAN ports on the back which can be turned into a WAN. And again, compared to the Unify Express, it has four additional ports on the back of it, which gives you that greater expansion should you need it. But keep in mind, some of the cons of this are there's no integrated Wi-Fi within here, so you do need to buy yourself an additional access point should you need this. Keep in mind, these ports at the back are not PoE, so you would need to buy yourself a PoE injector or buy yourself a switch that does PoE. It's slightly larger and heavier than the Unify Express, but it is a little bit cooler, which isn't actually a con but just to mention that within there. Now, before we wrap up this video, let's move into the thermals. So let's take a look at what temperatures these are coming in at. So the Unify Express just here is coming in at around about 45, 46 degrees versus the Cloud Gateway Ultra, which is probably showing at around about 30 odd degrees. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference between the two devices in terms of heating. Like I said, it's quite noticeable when you're holding this that you can feel the heat coming off it. In terms of ventilations on both these units, they are sealed units, so there isn't a lot of ventilation that will be coming out of this so do keep that one in mind as well pricing structure so this actually in the uk comes in at 95 pounds versus 123 pounds and if you're in the us it's 129 dollars versus 149 dollars so you need to weigh up the pros and cons how big is the area you're covering are you going to need an additional access point in that case you might be worth buying a unify get cloud gateway if you just need something for a small office that has wi-fi built in that gives you some sort of internet connection, then the Unify Express is the one for you. The advantage of both of these is they both run the Unify network application and can be managed from anywhere outside of your network, which is great for easy deployments. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below what you think between these two units, which one would be better for your setup? Is there another solution that Unify has that can beat one of these two solutions at this price point? For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.